Welcome to Caspio. My name is Ned and in the following video I'll be showing you how to create a password recovery form. Sometimes when we reach the login screen we have a tendency to forget our password. We can automatically reset our password via email by clicking on the following link. In this video I will teach you how to create a password recovery form and how to embed the form to the following web page. Note that for this implementation to work you will need to have two web pages created one that will contain your login screen and the other that's going to contain the password recovery form. Let's take a look. The first thing that you'll need to create is a user table and inside that user table what you will need are two required fields, email and password. Once you have your user table created you can navigate to the authentications object to build the login screen. In this video I have already created my login screen so I'm simply going to click on edit and as you can see I have my two login fields email and password. I'm going to click on the plus icon and I'm going to insert what we call header and footer because inside the footer section I want to be able to add those instructions for the end user to click on the link to reset the password. Now you will have your own text and your own language but you may typically see something that reads like this. Once you have your text established then highlight the clickable text then click on the link button and inside this field is where you want to input your destination URL. In other words when the user clicks on that text you want to redirect the end user to a different web page where you will be eventually embedding the Caspio password recovery form. If you recall from the beginning of the video I called my web page resetpassword.html and on that web page I will be embedding my recovery form. When done click OK save your changes and now when you refresh the website you should be able to see that text underneath the login screen because I placed it inside of footer section so now when I click on this text it's taking me to that web page called resetpassword.html now let's learn how to build the password recovery form when you go back inside Caspio navigate to data pages Click New Data Page to launch Caspio's point and click wizard. And you'll see a special data page called Passive Recovery. Select that and click Next. From here, you want to use your user table as your data source because that's where all the credentials reside. I will use my specific style that I've created for this video and I'll move on. You can see that my password field automatically selects password as the recovery field. For my email field in the drop down we're going to select email and for my verification fields I'm going to use the email field because I want to send the email to the end user with the reset password link for them to be able to reset the password. Let's continue. This is my email field where I actually input the email so we're going to leave this the way it is and we're going to click next. This is the uh, canned email that the end user will receive. Now you have some flexibility here. You can actually modify the content of the email, but what's very important is for you to keep this text inside the body of the email because this will eventually be replaced with a clickable link for the end user to be able to reset the password. And if you accidentally remove this text, you will always be able to find it by clicking on this button and you will be able to find the password link by selecting it from this dropdown. The from email can be your company email so that the end user will receive it. I'm just going to input no reply at company.com and let's move on. You will have two verification messages. If you input the right email address, you'll see a successful verification. If you input the email that doesn't exist in the user table, you will see a failed verification. Let's move on. This is the password field for the end user to input their password and here you can actually enable password strength if you need to or minimum strength required if you need a more complex password. Let's move on. This is the confirmation message that the end user will see when they reset the password and finally what you can do is click finish to save your changes. Let's grab the deploy code by enabling access, copying the Caspio code, and inside my HTML, I will go ahead and paste my Caspio code, save and publish my website. And now when you refresh the website, 
you should be able to see that password recovery form. Now when I input my email and click on reset password, you will see the instructions. Once I open up my email, I will be able to see that canned message and inside the body of the email, I will see the password reset link. So when I click on it, it takes me to the web page where I can now reset my password and once again, be able to log into my account. Thanks for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed it and please don't forget to subscribe for any of the latest tips and tricks on how to use Caspio. Have a great day.